Hi, this is Miss D again. Okay, so this time I'm going to actually show you how to do a... No, before I start winding this, I'm going to show you how to use... Uh, make a longer tassel. And I guess I got this about four times around. I'm going to do it 15 times. Uh, 6, 7... 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Y'all bear with me while I do this. And I know the first time I showed you how to do it, I just figured out another way to do it. I am going to cut this off right here. I'm, I'm going to take a piece of, of the thread and cut it again. Same way I did before, y'all. Don't look at the mess that I have. I'm going to take this piece of thread and I'm going to just pull it through here. Okay. There you are for your tassel. Right. I'm going to take this. And this piece of chipboard that I'm using is about two and two and a half inches. Probably two and three quarter inches long. I'm tying this knot right here at the top of this. And that's to hold the tassel together. And the one thing I watched another video and it tells you and I don't know whose video it was because I watched a bunch of them and I, I'm gonna start writing stuff down you guys or even if I write it down I'm gonna cut this off yeah and that's what the person said don't cut it off but it works for me when I cut it off so I'm gonna actually take that piece and I'm going to put this bead on here and this bead looks like this and I'm gonna pull it through and what I'm gonna do to this one right here is I'm using this Aileen's jewel it glue is fabric embellishment or embellishing adhesive and I'm gonna put it oops I'm gonna put it at the top of this I'm gonna put it at the bottom too so that this doesn't slide off but I'm gonna take this bead and I'm gonna thread it through here and just use your jewelry pieces. Oops, I can't do that one because it's not big enough. I'm going to actually use something like this. So that it has this cap. It's a cap. And I'm just going to take it and put it on here. And pull it down. And adhere it to the top of it. There you are. And I think I'm going to put another one on here. So I can show you how to bling up your... I'm going to put this one. Nope, I think I'm going to take this one off. I wish I knew how to use the... Uh, I'm going to use a smaller, a smaller bead. I'm going to take this one off and put this one on. Yeah, so there you are with that one. And I'm going to take a little of the glue and put it around here so that at the tip of it so that this doesn't slip off I don't know how this glue works because this is the first time that I used it but I'm gonna I'll figure it out and we'll see if it works if it keeps it from moving but there is my tassel right there that's how you jewel jewel it or bejewel your tassels and let's see I have a few other ones that I did this one is shabby chic and it's the true shabby chic as in shabby chic the style and not shabby chic because it's shabby looking yeah there is one and then here's another one that I actually just use one of these bead caps all of these are bead caps that I'm using here so if you have all those bead caps that you purchase long ago now is the time to use them here is another one and these you can actually put on your flip books on the ends of your uh, pocket pages they just look really cute there's your tassel and I found out the same way I made the teeny ones if you do them if you want the beads on here do it the same way just take your beads and run your thread that you tied on the top of it. Run it through and just pull it through and put your little beads on there like that. And that way I'll show you can 
undo that little piece that you put on there initially. I'm going to do that to this because some of them do look better with the... Oops, let me take this off. I'll take it off and then I'll come back and show you. It's easier that way. If you want beads on your little... The teeny ones I showed you how to make the first time. Yeah. Just take your little things and put them on there and there you are with the shorter ones you get the same thing but you just have the jewelry pieces on there so those are the first little ones that I made here's a here's the purple one let me do it like that so yeah you can be jewel if that's what you want to call it your little um even the little ones Okay, let me show you how. Let's take this one and put it in there. There you are. But with this one, I would have made it longer. And then, too, if you end up with little pieces that spray, that's, yeah, uneven, just take it and cut it straight across. Yeah, but this I would make longer. I wouldn't use it like that. But yeah, these are the ones that are bejeweled. So yeah, there you are. So, and it's as easy as that. If you have any questions, just leave your comments below and I'll address them if I can. You can do you can dangle more stuff off of here. I'll let you all know how this glue works. I got these from Tuesday morning. Um, I think they were 99 cents. I've never seen this before, so I don't know how it works. And this is jewel it fabric embellishment adhesive and this is so that you can actually attach your bead stuff to fabric so it should work i don't know like i said this is the first time that i've ever used it all right you guys i'm gonna go and make more so if you have any questions just leave me a comment and i'm gonna see how some of these other bead caps and stuff work because i have plenty jars like this so i'm gonna find some that are different and kind of put them together and see what I come up with. All right, you guys, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.